Ah, hello and welcome to the fifth part and the last part of the new special test videos. I have to do this really fast because uh, our videos keep getting interrupted because I, my phone ran out of storage and now it keeps, it doesn't record past a certain point. So we'll, we'll go through this fast. We have a total of four tests. Um, I'm only going to perform three. Um, two are for patellar instability, the other two are for effusion or joint swelling. And let's start with the apprehension test. Position is supine. The patient is, um, oh, oh, sup sorry, supine. Uh, we were looking for freaking out or uh, scary reactions in the patient because as we're going to be pushing the patellar laterally and testing for that lateral patellar, patellar instability, um, the patient will freak out if they have previous history of dislocating their knee and the body will freak out and contract the quad muscles trying to keep the patella in place. So it's really simple to perform. Uh, we just um, uh, put our finger on the medial side of the patella and push it as far laterally as we can and in this case nothing happens the quads are relaxed, the patient is undisturbed reading Harry Potter book uh, patella moves laterally and is uh, appears to be fine so there's no reaction, no nothing uh, apprehension test is negative, she doesn't have any patellar instability maximum is Fairbanks test Fairbanks position is supine I'm not actually going to perform it but I'm going to explain it to you guys we're testing for chondromalacia or the wasting away of the uh, the bottom of the patella as it's constantly rubbing uh, on the um, in its socket and this one's very painful to perform that's why I'm not going to perform it but basically you put the hand above the patella and you press the patella down and you ask the patient to contract their quad muscles and as they will contract the quad muscles the patella will want to lock the VMO will push it in its socket but because they're pressing down on it uh, as they as they'll contract their quad quad muscle it'll just it, it won't go in socket and we basically will stretch all of, all of the um, ligaments there and it's gonna be very painful we don't do that but um, uh, that is how we test for chondromalacia uh, next is bowel patella test uh, we're jumping into effusion tests and um, again for effusion tests we're gonna have to be very observant with um, uh, with the uh, needs health and any bulges on the leg so uh, it would be preferable if the patient uh, had the knee exposed so we could observe that in this case it's not we we'll just pretend this for a second and um, for the battle patella test uh, we have one hand above the patella on the uh, uh, pre-patellar supra-patellar uh, belt the other one uh, below the patella under the patellar apex and we're gonna apply downward force and um, bring the uh, bring it bring your hands together uh, creating a circle around the knee and we're gonna take one of our fingers and press down on the uh, patella and sorry for the things I didn't mention position is supine we're testing for effusion and we would know that there's effusion if the knee uh, if the knee was palatable and palatable just means uh, bouncing back and forth or it would appear floating as we would press down it it would go in and as we would press and as we would let go it would uh, bounce back up in this case it's not doing any of that so uh, the palatable um, patella test is negative and she doesn't have effusion inside her knee so if we're talking ACL, PCL um, so that's that final test is a sweep test Whew, the video is still going I, we, can, we can do this and uh, so for the sweep test um, we're testing it for effusion and sweep test is pretty uh, self-explanatory we're just gonna sweep uh, the medial side of the thigh and the knee uh, go all the way down and again we want the knee exposed so we can observe it and we're observing for any bulges that appear on the uh, that appear on the uh, lateral side as we're sweeping medially because we're, we're we're pushing all of the swelling out and we're gonna do the same f um, uh, laterally we're gonna sweep uh, the thigh and the knee laterally and look for any bulges that appear on the medial side of the knee uh, in this case I can't see anything even if I tried I couldn't she's wearing pants but um, that's how you do the sleep test and uh yep those are for the test and the last part and we did it Woo. Yeah. <laughs>